Ryan with GameRoomSolutions.com and in this video I'm going to walk through how to set up the digital jukebox on your virtual pinball machine using the pinup system. Okay, so we'll get started here. Um, if you just Google pinup popper jukebox, you'll get to this link on the vPinball um, site. You can come down, hit the installation tab here, and then you'll see there's a lot of extras. So you'll want to download these extras. Um, so click here to download, click here to download. Download all of those as well as um, down at the bottom, download these two. So what you want to do is download all of those and then copy those into your pinup system folder uh, and, and override anything if you need to, but a lot of this should be new files. Um, you'll be good to go there. So I'll just talk about how to get it set up, but essentially you download those files and copy them over. You can watch our other videos to show kind of the folder structures and all that, but I just wanted to get to this fairly quickly. Okay, so I downloaded those files, copied them over into my pinup system folder here. A lot of it's uh, mostly media files, but um, so in this jukebox here, you can see that you'll have different um, settings, PL jukebox for the, for the back glass and so forth. Um, your play field, that's where you'll put your music videos. And again, you'll want um, to get this full screen effect. Essentially, I used Uni Converters, the one I used. I could download the YouTube video, just download YouTube videos. That's easy to do. Throw it into Uni Converter, and then I was able to um, counterclockwise, and then I was able to uh, crop it to where it's like the big screen um, here. So all of your videos will go into the Play Field folder. Um, and everything else was just by default that I copied in. So to set this up, what you got to do is go into the pinup menu setup.exe and you will set up a new emulator. So you'll hit the plus sign here, set up your new emulator. And this is what you'll do. You'll type in jukebox, jukebox, jukebox. That's pretty easy. And then your exe folder would be your pop media jukebox folder. Games folders, your play field like we talked about. MP4, that's the only extension that will work. So your, all your files have to be in MP4. Uh, same thing with your ROMs folder. It would just be the same as your play field because that's where the music video is. Um, I went ahead here for media directory to pop media jukebox just so it made sure and hit the right folder. And then this is important too on keep displays open. I did one and two, which is my back glass and my DMD. So essentially I want those to keep the, ju uh, the jukebox... Um, uh, videos playing, not the actual music videos, but just like the, the standard videos on the screen at all times. And then display three, which is my play field, is the one uh, that'll change to, to show the video setup. So now we'll go into the launch setup here, and I'll have this posted in the description, but this is how I got, uh, got it working. So I have the custom one um, here put in, but I wouldn't really worry about this. This is to just copy and paste this in as well as this down here. Essentially, it's going to say, hey, close it and bring back your menu and then kill uh, the VLC player um, that's going to open to play the actual music video. Okay, so that's it for that. So we'll go ahead and um, close that out. The next thing we're going to do is go into our games manager. And what we're going to do is add new games. You'll scan for games. It'll show all of the music videos you put in that Playfield folder based on your jukebox. Um, you can select all of those and then add those games to the system. Um, so those will be in here. You'll be good. The next thing you need to do is create a playlist. So just to show you guys this. So create a playlist, add new playlist. I called mine jukebox. And essentially what you'll do is you can select the jukebox games over here, which would be the music videos. I don't have any because I've already added them all. So again, you can hold down, click the first one, hold down shift and hit the down key on your keyboard, which will highlight everything and then add games. So then it'll basically add everything to this playlist, as well as it'll say playlist media name PL underscore jukebox. So you want to make sure that this all says that because it's going to line up with the videos uh, that you downloaded and copied over to your folder. Okay, so one more thing before we actually launch it. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is open up VLC, just your standard media player. Put it on your back glass, or sorry, on your Playfield screen that you're going to do. Just go into Tools and Preferences. And this is how I got mine to work. Essentially, I went into Video. And you're going to want to make sure that this is selected to full screen. So automatically, when it boots up, it boots into full screen. The other thing I did is on the on-screen display, I took off 
um, subtitles and on screen display so that way it doesn't flash up the name of the file and that kind of stuff so once I did those two things um, I just hit save down here at the bottom and then um, and, and I was good everything was working so just like in the video we'll walk through a little bit more of that but that's how I set it up just download the files copy them over um, set it up in the system and then change your VLC here so that way it boots up into full screen and takes off the subtitles and, and um, you're good to go Okay, just to show this off here, so this is the intro right as it boots up, right? You can run through this. But what I want to show you guys is the jukebox. So I went in and had a bunch of videos put in, and I, um, I changed the orientation of them and cropped them so it always full screen in this portrait mode of whatever it is. So uh, I don't know. There's a few hundred on here. There's some newer stuff. There's a lot of older stuff. Um, the one thing I just added to show. So you can see it shows previews of everything as you go. So you could just listen to the preview if you wanted to. Um, then just keep flipping through them. Or you could hit enter and it'll actually full screen it up. See, it keeps the back glass and keeps the uh, DMD going. It just changes the play field. Tell all the hunters, lay down their guns. So I can exit out. It'll go back to the preview. And then again, I can just continue to go across um, songs. And this will just keep running. Let's play something uh, old. So I can just hit play. And then again, It'll play the music video, hops right in, it's really fast. to show you a new newer video that's high res. So anyways, it's a real nice effect on your uh, virtual pinball machine to have this video jukebox built into it. It definitely makes it different. Um, I like this portrait crop mode so much. I'm gonna find some other ways to uh, use it in other products because I just think it's really cool uh, to fill up a screen um, in the portrait mode. So make sure to like the video, visit GameRoomSolutions.com. Thanks.